All right, what's up, guys? So I seen this video on my recommendations. Had to check it out. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on with WWE right now and how they're treating their uh, workers, their wrestlers, but like all workers, not just the wrestlers, because what they're firing announcers, referees, uh, wrestlers too, but just a bunch of people. But any producers. But anyways, um, yeah, let's see what uh, 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 Palana. Palana, I think that's Palana Productions. I don't know, but let's uh, let's see what they uh, got going on. Um, yeah, video title. I can't support WWE anymore. Drop that like, drop that sub, and then that being said, let's get into the video. How are they self-employed when you're signed exclusively? Right. You can't work for nobody else. It's a monopoly. Yeah. They tell you when and where you'll work. They tell you who you'll work. They can totally control. All right, because I think they said Selena Vega. She got like a. 90 day uh, thing going on right now uh since she's got fired that she can't like i think appear or it, it's either both or just one but she either can't wrestle for any company for 90 days or she can't appear in any wrestling company for 90 days so i'm like man that's so for 90 days i'm supposed to be broke like man get out of here with that roll your life and you're and an yet, independent contractor and yet they call you an independent contractor how has the government allowed them to get away with that for 35 to 40 years it's not going to be easy for the wwe to thread the needle on this they are pushing ahead with this event despite the serious concerns of some of their own wrestlers and their own fan base they're, they're putting their lives on the line not, or their health on the line their family i think it's like wrestlers that show their loyalty to the wwe like they're like i'm not wrestling for any other company i'm not going to do anything because look you don't see guys like john cena undertaker like you know the big names and stuff that's like and i mean you know there's going to most likely be big names in here that'll be talked about but uh or talking about the wwe but i feel like those like iconic names where it's like you know they these guys is like the top five of like wrestlers in wwe yeah you you know they're not gonna say anything bad because they've if they've displayed their loyalty to their business and stuff then yeah plus and i i, I don't know it's just like i think with today's generation of wrestlers it's like a lot of things going on so but life on the line all the time they made vince a billionaire uh, and then the fact that he's still being so heavy-handed about their ability to make a simple buck on Cameo just struck me as so yeah. absurd and ridiculous and wrong. Do you have a reason why these people would be dying under the age of 45? Why don't you ask yourself that question? I mean, why, why, why are you indicating that's my responsibility? These people are dead because... I'm asking you if it's in any way, shape, or form falls on your shoulders. I, I would accept no responsibility whatsoever for their untimely deaths, none whatsoever. As far as, and, and you've got that little look on your face like, yeah, I'm, geez, I'm, Vince, none, how can you possibly none, say that? Well, but none whatsoever. I mean, they wrestled for you. They, they were part for me, of they, your organization. They worked a couple wow. hundred nights a year for you. Vince McMahon has always had this mentality. That's kind of, yeah, I'm like, that's, that's kind of messed up. You have to take some sort of responsibility for it because it's like if you're expecting them to go out there and do all these crazy stunts and they put their body at risk or on the line for you and they put money in your pocket and you can't do anything to back. Because I'm just saying, me personally, if I own the wrestling business, if I own the wrestling company or any company or any business, I'm making sure that everybody that comes through my company they're going to get treated like family why because they are un at this point they're underneath my household they're underneath my roof so that's why i'm like i have to as a person the head honcho the leader of this house i have to do whatever it takes to make sure that they are safe so that's just how i see things but i don't know maybe maybe because it's just a different generation of me and him like yeah they uh you know they people wouldn't probably agree with what i say but i'm just saying like if you want people to continue wrestling for your company and wrestle for your company for a long time just saying well, treat them right like circus animals all these wrestlers that have broke their backs making this living for years end up with nothing when it's over and then they sort of take you out back and they put a slug in the back of your head and dump you out and uh, that's the life of a professional wrestler they Dang. still go with here's your plane ticket you're flying to detroit you're working Detroit, Chicago, Cape Girardeau, and St. Louis. So you rent your car in Detroit, you drop it off in St. Louis, you gotta find your hotel rooms, you gotta get a car that's got a good rate for the drop off, 
all this stuff. And those are your expenses and your responsibility to do that. And that's another thing that I think people just like, are like, are you kidding me? You really have to do that's that? That's nuts. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I don't know. For the longest, I always had thought that these guys just traveled. They just had like their own private plane and they would just travel. You would think like that's how you would. I, I, I'm just saying like if I had some like billion dollar company and I know I could afford just like a, a couple of planes or whatever and things like, yeah, I'm like I do whatever it takes. But yeah, that's that's crazy. huh? They probably only use planes like that for when uh, they're traveling like. You know, when they're doing like this show, um, uh, like the Super Royal Rumble or the Rumble show, when they're like going overseas and stuff. But anyways, yeah. that's the biggest difference. That's a pretty big difference. Business Hulk here is a billionaire on the broken backs of his non-employees. The very least he can do is show the same dedication to wrestlers that they have shown to his company. If I go down as someone who stood up Oh yeah, this scene, and... I've seen this. This is supposed to win two mm -hmm. days ago. Yep, two days so ago. Be it. I felt but sorry for her. I'm, I'm so like, good. I, I I'm hope, not, I'm not I hope everything's I'm going not, okay. I'm just, I'm just heartbroken. Um, because I'm like, you, you have to understand, like a lot of, because did AEW fire any of their wrestlers for when, uh, um, the pandemic and everything's happened? I know, like a lot of them were gone, and they're starting to show back up today, but. Now, I didn't hear anything about AEW firing their wrestlers, so I'm saying, like, dang, that's, like, that's really messed up. I, don't, I didn't hear anything of it. I'll check it um, check it out afterwards, after this video and stuff. So, anyways. Because doing this, being a wrestler is all I ever wanted to do. I was working on my video about what makes Brock Lesnar matches so special until I saw what happened to Selena Vega, and I immediately stopped because I knew I had to make this video. WWE announced that they released her. It seemed extremely random at the time. People just assumed that she asked for her release. But then, she tweeted last night saying that she supports unionization. With mm. those three words, it told a deeper story about the bigger issue that lies within WWE. This year has been a disaster for employees under the company. It's gotten to the point where it's difficult to even support WWE anymore. As you know, I've been a huge fan of WWE my entire life, watching Raw and SmackDown ever since I was a young child. While I always will love the sport, I can no longer support Vince McMahon and the way he handles business. Even before this year, John Oliver's special on HBO about what WWE does really opened my eyes. Wrestlers are not employees for the company. This means Vince McMahon hires them as contractors. The result of that is a lack of health insurance and other benefits that every other sport pays for their employees like traveling expenses. The fact that WWE wrestlers are forced to pay for their hotel and rental car yeah. is insane. Vince McMahon's contractors put their body on the line for the WWE and the least he could do is pay for their health insurance. In an interview, huh, Alexa wow. Bliss explained that WWE does pay for injuries that happen in the ring, but what about the long-term effects that come from wrestling? Just because it doesn't happen in a WWE ring doesn't mean that the injuries weren't caused from the months and years of physical pain. Yeah. After that special with John Oliver came out, nothing really happened. Wrestling fans were upset about it for a few days, a couple tweets came out here and there, but nothing else came out of it. I even forgot about it myself just moving on, moving past it. Fast forward to a year later, and we get to the day when WWE fired 30 employees and contractors. Names like EC3, Rusev, Kurt Angle, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, and a few dozen more people were Crazy. released in the middle of a pandemic. WWE fired them in a time where many other wrestling promotions were closed. In fact, a lot of companies were downsizing. You'd assume that WWE was doing the same thing, but no. They had $500 million in cash that they were sitting on. Vince McMahon is even having one of the most profitable years of all time despite these circumstances. It is heartless that he fired all those names in a time when there was so much uncertainty. Yeah. You have to be cold-blooded to do such a thing. Rusev even had a story to tell about this explaining how a bunch of wrestlers were gathering together in the back in order to unionize the wrestlers making them official employees with benefits. WWE discovered this and he claims that they fired him because of it to prove a point. They made an example out of Miro. If any That's other wrestlers crazy. wanted to talk about wanting basic rights as an employee, they would be fired. And this doesn't seem far-fetched at all. It seems like something Vince McMahon would have done. 
After all this news came out, similar to the last event, nothing happened. People tweeted about how ruthless Vince McMahon was as an owner of his company, and that's about it. A week later, everybody forgot about it. In just a few months though, we had another issue that popped up. Vince McMahon found out that his talent was making money on other platforms like Twitch and Cameo. You would think that these wrestlers wanted to make some extra side cash to pay yeah. for some of these expenses like the health insurance, but no, Vince McMahon's new executives will not allow this to happen. WWE is out. forcing all of them to shut down their accounts because they claim that they own their names, yet they are contractors. The talent reportedly have the legal rights to continue their side well, but that's, that's the thing, though. I'm like, some of these wrestlers I know go by, like, fake name and stage names and stuff. So that's why I'm like, okay, y'all own that name. You know, like, y'all own, like, The Undertaker and stuff. But uh, Mark Calloway, I'm like, no, that's me. I'm like, I own that. That's what I got to live and die with for the rest of my life. Undertaker, y'all could keep that name, do whatever you want to do with it. But Mark Calloway, I'm like, no, that's, that's me. That's me. I'm like, so... I just think, yeah, I think that they just going a little bit too extreme with what they're doing and stuff like so, that. Since they are contractors, but Vince does not care. <clears throat> if you don't follow the boss's rules, you will either get suspended or fired. And that's just crazy in my opinion. It's not right. Selena yeah. Vega is the first victim of this, and I see it happening to Paige very soon because Vince McMahon does not want her to use her Twitch. Unlike the That's other horrible up. things, WWE and she's not, not. As you guys can see, she's going by. Uh, I think that yeah, I believe that's a real name, Soraya, Soraya, and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, she. You know, and she's not even, that's the thing where she, I, I did see that video where she was like, I'm not even wrestling. So that's why I'm like, yeah, if, especially for the wrestlers that's not even wrestling right now, they should be at least, you know, using their accounts. On, but. I don't think I can just sit around and do nothing. I will continue to criticize WWE's business practices. I can no longer support the company. I think Vince McMahon is a bad boss who has no empathy for his wrestlers. Yeah. A former Democratic presidential candidate in Andrew Yang has made it his mission to expose and fix this. Yang just wants wrestlers to be treated fairly as employees with full benefits. Andrew cannot be the only one who wants to make a difference. Us wrestling fans can't just sit yeah. around acting like everything is fine. We have the power to do something about it, whether that's creating a hashtag about WWE unionization or simply okay. boycotting okay. the product by not watching. And that isn't a very difficult task because the product isn't that good anyways. Vince McMahon has gotten away with this for far too long. It is time we do something about it. And that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Like 200 make sure to follow people me on Twitter man at Alan Plana, And I'll see you all on the next video. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they should definitely uh, work on that and crack down on it. But, yeah, just overall having something, you know, for the wrestlers to fall back on rather than just some, yeah, I, I just, I think that that is really messed up. Like, you know, sit down thinking about it and stuff. And I'm like, you know, growing up, like, I've always wanted to, like, you know, that was something I've always wanted to do is be a wrestler and stuff. But I'm like, dang, like, with all that stuff going on, I probably have been one of the ones that got fired too. So I'm like, man. It's messed up. It's really messed up how uh, WWE, they treat their employees. Like, I hope, uh, but it's like I said, like all the big names, anybody, any, all the big names or anybody with the last name McMahon, you know for a fact they're going to be okay. But wrestlers like Selena Vega, Paige, uh, um, all the other, like, you know, somewhat big but somewhat small wrestlers, it's like, man, like, I, I really do hope and wish the best for you guys. Um, I do see it. It's like, you know, AEW. AEW is definitely going to be a, um, a competitor with WWE. I'm like, it's messed up. And it's um, sad to see that because, you know, you think WWE is going to be the biggest company, the biggest wrestling company of all time. But the way they treat their employees, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. So it's like, yeah, they're going to probably eventually they're going to have to start changing stuff. Because I'm like, yeah, it, it's gonna, it probably will get to a point in time where, you know, Y'all ain't gonna be making that same money, and so well, Vince McMahon ain't gonna be making that same money and things. So, yeah, it's like you're gonna have to start cracking down on that and doing stuff about it. But if, if not, then it's gonna be sad that that day to see uh, WWE they just get canceled. But anyways, um, yeah, probably that that would be that would be crazy. Imagine if like the TV networks had like jumped in, was just like, hey, you guys need to start taking care of these wrestlers. Because these TV um, TV networks, I know they have to be making some money too off of this. So I'm pretty sure they're probably all like, hey, look, you need to start taking care of these wrestlers. If not, then we uh, we ain't going to be affiliated with, you know, USA and uh, 
I think, yeah, it's Fox, Q13, Fox. Well, I, I don't know, like, just Fox and things. I don't know where exactly what channel it is for you guys. But, uh, yeah, Fox, um, that TV network, they're going to be like, hey, like, you better start uh, helping out these wrestlers and things. But who knows? They might be like, look, we're getting paid. We're making money. So they might not say anything about it. But who knows? Let's see. But anyways, um, yeah, that was a pretty good video. Shout out to uh, uh uh, Polana Productions. I don't know. I'm, I, I apologize if I'm butchering your name. But make sure you go subscribe to them. Link to their channel will be in the description. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.